spring break is kind of a rite of passage in America. Uh, in some ways, it's metaphorical in the film. Um, I feel like the girls uh, and Franco's character are kind of, uh, yeah, are compelling in that way of this culture, of that culture. Like these, you know, these girls are uh, also of this culture and of this world, and um, there's a lot of meaning in them doing the film, and uh, to them doing the film, and there's, uh, it was exciting for me. It was, it was kind of like, uh, in some ways, it, when I was conceptualizing the movie, when I was thinking it up and talking about who could play these characters, it was just like uh, a fantasy or something to have to have these girls uh, be a part of it, and so obviously I was uh, super excited when they. Agreed. Yeah, I wanted to make a film. I'd been trying. I'd been working in my mind. I'd been trying to develop this style for a while, or this 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 idea of motion and liquid narrative. Um, I wanted to make a film that that had very little dialogue. That was more uh, sensory. That was more like something as an experience uh, that you felt. That kind of went through you. And I wanted it to be almost like a, an attack of of sounds and images. And um, in some ways it was meant to be like a, a pop poem or something, like using both high and low and having them coalesce and collide. And so, <clears throat> so it's, a, it's about girl empowerment, but it's also about kids that are, it's about a, a new generation. This idea that of the soul, that there's no soul, it's not, with the new generation is not true, that's just the soul is morphed. It's become something else, it's a new idea. Um, it's a new vision. Um, it, uh, it's about kids that are raised on video games and raised on YouTube clips and, and raised television babies. And, um, and so <clears throat> the step, the, the step from watching and viewing to doing is sometimes very, very small. And so in some ways also they represent that, that, that kind of, that idea. Two years ago, I, I had a dream, I just had a picture, an image of, uh, in my mind, of like a, a girls uh, in bikinis and ski masks robbing uh, fat tourists, and like, or just tourists on the beach, just walking down the, the, the shoreline with guns. Um, and like, I like, I liked the image. It was, it seemed to be, there was something kind of iconic about it. And so I started, I just started trying to build a story or narrative around the picture. Um, so I was thinking, if these girls existed, where would they exist? How would they exist? Where would that come from? And then I started to think about girls in bikinis and spring break. And then I started collecting lots of images of spring break. And then I started building a story that way uh, based on an, an image. <laughs> yeah, I wrote the script and during spring break. There were kids puking on my door, fucking in the hallways, lighting shit on fire. Uh, there, were, there were midgets having sex and chandeliers. I found a jawbone and a carpet. Uh, it was pretty crazy. <laughs> it was like a dog's job. Look, you make movies. You want to make. You want to make something beautiful. You want to make something truth. You want to make something that that lasts. Uh, trying to make a, a you know, um, an amazing movie with characters that you remember forever, um, and it's part. It's. Uh, I put it all out there. I give it. I give it my all. I don't. I can never, and I never have been able to make movies for everyone. I make a very specific type of film. At the same time, this movie, um, it says a lot and it says nothing. I have nothing to prove. The movie has nothing to prove. It's, the thing is, is that like, it's meant to be about surfaces. The culture is about surfaces. It's meant to be like candy. Um, and so if it makes people angry, that's fine. If people love it, that's, that's great. There's no right or wrong way to in, in, interpret this film or any, anything that I do. It's all just perfect. Do you know what I'm saying? So you can't live in fear of what this person's going to say or this person's going to be offended. I try to make the greatest films I can make. I try to make things that are substantial and beautiful and affect people. And I, I hope it works out that way. You know, all the gangster stuff? Um, a lot of it came from Gucci Man, the guy that played uh, Archie, the, the uh, alien's rival. Gucci is just a, is a is a rapper from Atlanta, and it's like a hero of mine. And uh, I I asked him; he was in prison when I I called him and asked him to play this part. And uh, he said, uh, "Yeah, as soon as he gets out, 
uh, he would love to do it. <laughs> and I said, don't reoffend. And uh, he didn't. So uh, he, um, a lot of those people were his crew, his posse, and like we, uh, we would, sh we were shooting in. Um, you know, we, you try to make things as authentic as possible. You shoot in places that r really exist, and uh, a lot of times the places have people in there, and then you, you know, they they are part of the location. So uh, you, I don't know. You know, I spend a lot of time in beforehand prepping and. Uh, hanging out with people and get, getting to understand the, uh, the ambience, and it's just super important, the, the tone of the place. The movie is a lot about the, a feeling. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, a lot of, those pe a lot of the, I think, uh, the gangsters were just, you know, gangsters. They're gonna love this shit. <laughs> All those Disney fans. Yeah. <laughs>